positive? Yeah, it, um, we are still two days after our game against Mali. Most of the time that's a, a relaxing day. Uh, players getting tired after several games, also the circumstances, traveling, sitting in the hotel the whole time. So we wanted to do something for the atmosphere, to shoot to the goal. That's always nice and maybe it's also useful uh, the coming days to score goals. Um, naturally, um, at the moment of time, we have uh, two players who are not available. One of them is Ibrima Dabu, who is still tested positive, but tonight we have a new test, so maybe he could be available, but he didn't train for a few days. And also uh, Steve Kawali, who had still an ankle injury, and on request from his club, uh, returned back to his club uh, to recover there. That's sad, because it are two important players, for sure Steve also, but if he is not fully fit, and the club and he prefer to return, uh, then uh, we have to accept that. For the rest, the atmosphere is good, the team is ready, uh, it will be a very tough match, Tunisia number 30 in the world. Um, they have to win against us, so they will be on full strength and full motivation. We hopefully already qualified uh, after tomorrow. Uh, if Malawi today lose from Senegal, uh, and if uh, tomorrow Guinea-Bissau doesn't beat uh, uh, Nigeria, then we are qualified. Uh, and that would help naturally a little bit in the stress mode. Uh, but naturally against Tunisia we will do everything again uh, to get a good result. The mental thing is best to talk to Steve about that because uh, Steve told us that he has problems on his ankle and that he is not fully fit. Uh, we got yesterday evening an email from his club, Ashman, what stated that uh, he is still recovering and that they prefer that he come home. And it was the choice of Steve and the club uh, to call him back. So uh, you have to talk to them. That's the information I have. Um, and he, if he say that he is not fully fit, then uh, I believe my players. I have no doubt to uh, to doubt. Uh, no reason to doubt my players. So and we got the email from the club, and uh, we have to accept that uh, we need fully fit players. And if a player is uh, physically not fit, then uh, we are always ready to cooperate. Steve was very important in the qualifications. We wish that Steve uh, would have been here uh, because he is a very important player for the team on and off the pitch. Uh, but this is now uh, the situation, and we have uh, 26, 27 other players. I think it's time that we focus on a team and not only on the interview uh, to be unfair to the boys uh, till now. So uh, we look ahead. It's sad because Steve, like I said, is a fantastic guy, a great player. And it's sad that we don't have him. Uh, maybe we're going to miss him in the coming days. Uh, but I'm sure there will be other players standing up to take their opportunity. Was only addressed yesterday that he is already more than a month injured. Did he left ceremoniously or unceremoniously? Uh, he left in a normal way, we were all aware that he was leaving, so uh, he had to leave early in the morning because he had a night flight. Uh, all the team was sleeping, so that's normal if you have to leave at 4 o'clock in the morning or even earlier. So, uh, yeah, that's, I don't know, I had never a problem with him. We had no words, we had no conflict, we had no discussions. But again, you're only talking about one player, and I think it's unfair to the Scorpions, who are number one in their qualification group, to talk about one player. I had no discussion with Steve, I had never a problem with Steve. Uh, so uh, there was, for me, for my knowledge, no problem and no conflict.